What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and I've got a cool video to talk about today. It's not what you think. It's not the five best baits for February. It's not five baits you're fishing wrong. It's definitely not five secret tips that I'm using to not catch any checks with. We're just talking about five crawfish imitator baits that are new to the market and they all have something in common. They have those oversized pinchers. Now these types of soft plastics were really popular about 10 years ago when the pack of crawl came out. Actually like 15, almost 20 years ago is when the pack of crawl came out. And then it was copied. You had the rage crawl, you had the chigger crawl. You had several companies trying to make baits this style. They're still popular, but they've gotten really popular in the last year. And so we're gonna talk about five new ones to the market. If you like the video smash the thumbs up button if you really like it i want you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't and then also leave a comment which one of these baits that i show you is your favorite which one do you plan on fishing the most links to all the baits to tackle warehouse will be in the description as well as six cents where you can use my code baitman and get 10 percent off your entire order trust me when i say this you're probably going to order some of this stuff all right, let's talk about these baits and they're in no particular order. And so I'll show them to you up here and then we'll get them out of the package. I'll show them to you right here down on the bait table. So first thing is up, super popular bait, just come out this fall. And this is the Missile Baits Chunky D. And it is the most compact one of everything I'm gonna show you. It's only available in one size, but it's got some unique features that I really like about it. And also, it's named after my buddy Byron. His name at prom in high school was Chunky D. So, Mr. Cruz just went with it. All right, guys. This is the Missile Baits Chunky D. And it's got some really cool things going for it. Uh, number one, you're going to see it's got these double flanges on the tail. And that's something common you're probably going to see in this video through several baits. Now, this color is superbug so it's green pumpkin on top and then it's black and blue on the other side now you'll notice this side is relatively flat doesn't have any ridges this side you can see in the light it's got these ribs on that that's to help collapse the bait when you set the hook so you get a really good hook penetration so i'm going to put my hook in this side i want it coming out this side this thing's really compact you can see in my hand it's not that big and you get six of these in a pack. Pretty good price. I really like this bait. If you're into compact soft plastics, you can use this as a jig trailer. You can Carolina rig it. You can punch this bait as well. The next one up you should probably be familiar with if you aren't already. And this is from Six Cents Fishing. This is the Bongo 3.7. It's very simplistic. There's nothing crazy about it. It doesn't have 50 different appendages and 5,000 legs falling off of it and 4D eyes. But one thing about this, the blend of plastic makes this thing amazing and super, super versatile. Now this is the Six Sense Bongo and if you haven't been paying attention, I don't know what to tell you, but this thing is super popular. This is like a souped up menace grub slash pack across slash all kinds of things. It looks really, really simple. But the plastic in this is really, really soft. You can tell how thin right here uh, that the tail section appendages are. And what that does, it allows it the water to catch these big flanges right here and really make it undulate through the water. What's really cool is when you rig this thing on the back of a bladed jig, it really kicks. If you rig it vertically like this, you're going to have more of you know a shad profile on your bladed jig you rig it this way it's really going to flip and flop and make it look like a darting crawfish this bait's very versatile you can use it on a shaky head carolina rig you can punch it you can flip it it's great on the back of a football jig as well and that i'm really excited about this color right here this is 4k sunfish it goes perfect with that green pumpkin chartreuse jig i like to throw lots of really really good colors in these things again it's simplistic but it has a lot of really, really good action. Not trying to be biased here. Uh, they are made in the USA as well. So that just gives you another reason to try out some bongos from Six Cents. 
new this year from Yamamoto Fishing, which they have did a total rebrand of Yamamoto, and I think it's for the good thing, is the new 4-inch Yama Craw. This is a bait they pretty much had to have in their lineup as a soft plastic maker. I know a lot of people say, oh, it's a Guggen Kraken Craw or it's a Rage Craw. Yes, they are very similar, but the soft plastic formula in this Gary Yamamoto Craw is awesome. And plus, they got those great colors that you're familiar with from Gary Yamamoto. And let me show you a little bit more about this Yama Craw. All right, so here's the four inch Yamamoto Craw. And this is a big guy. Like, if you want a big profile crawfish bait, uh, this is what you want. It's, I think it's a bigger, meatier profile than, say, a Rage Craw. Uh, it's got some bigger appendages on it. And the flange is a little bit different. See if you guys can see that there in the video. It's a little bit flatter. Uh, totally different plastic uh, than the Cinco. And it's a lot better plastic than the Guggen Kraken Cross. So I'll let you guys know that. That think it's a copy. Uh, yes, they are similar. And yes, it's similar to a Rage Crawl. But you know what? Everybody's got something like that these days. But I really like this because it's a bigger profile. So if you like to flip or Texas rig a little bit bigger bait, uh, this is a really good one here. I believe you get some whites during bed fishing season. This is going to be really, really good. Uh, you could even throw it on a big swim jig, get, get a bigger profile. But they got some great colors there from Yamamoto. This one's Okeechobee Crawl. Uh, it's a little bit more pumpkin than the normal Okeechobee I'm used to. We still got that blue flake in there. Uh, there's six in a pack. The only downside of these, they are a little bit more expensive than everybody else's. But man, they, they do look really, really good. Another fall release was the Berkeley Powerbait 108. And it comes in three different sizes. And it's kind of a cross between, you know, a Rage Craw and a Chigger Craw. But a little different shape on the appendages. Uh, but it's got that Berkeley power bait scent that a lot of guys really really like now this is the shape 108 from berkeley uh this one's a little bit more slender than the other ones uh you have almost a worm-like end here and then you come into the cross section of the bait uh it does have two flanges but they're relatively small especially compared to the chunky d now, when I tested this, it didn't kick as fast or as hard as some of the others, but it has a really natural uh, action in the water. It's going to be a good one for you Texas rig guys. You can use this as a jig trailer. It's got a perfect place to cut this right here, especially if you want to use it on like a finesse jig. Carolina rigging, this would be a really good one as well. Uh, went really simple on the color here. I got watermelon. They got several other colors you also notice, even though it does have big pinchers, they're not as wide as the other ones. This is kind of like a cross between, like I said before, a Rage Crawl and the Chigger Crawl. It's, it's just Berkeley's new formula, and God dang, they stink. I'm about to throw up right now. You do get eight in a pack, though. And since Berkeley come out with all these new jigs, you know they had to have a new crawl trailer to go with them. All right, the last one I got comes from a company that I really didn't expect to have an awesome soft plastic bait. And I mean that with no disrespect because they've always been known as kind of a hard bait company, but they've also been known as a crappie fishing company. And this is the bird from Jinko. It's got some cool things going on for it. And I was like, man, I got to check this thing out. I'm always curious. You know what? Uh, this is probably going to be a little sleeper bait for a lot of guys. All right, so this is the bird from Jinko Fishing. It's a pretty unique uh, bait, and it's got a wild-looking appendages here. They're not round. Uh, they're not straight. They're almost like a, a weird diamond shape, almost actually like frog legs, to be honest with you. I know they say it's the bird. Uh, it's got these cool little appendages right here. Uh, it's got a tab right here, and what you want to do when you get these, you want to pop that tab off so you get maximum kicking action there. Uh, from your legs or appendages, whatever you want to call them. Uh, it does have two flanges, one on each side of the leg. These are pretty big, so it should give it some good undulation in the water. But one thing that's really unique is look how thick this bait is. I mean, it is thick, so it shouldn't tear easy, but you're, it's also kind of compact body, so you can't really put a 5 aught flipping hook in here. 
a three or four ought to probably be the best. It's a pretty cool color. Uh, this one is called Grackle, so it's kind of like a black and blue and a pumpkin. Uh, maybe imitate like a gill, maybe a craw. It's a pretty cool bait. Uh, it is very solid, but it does have ribs on both sides here. Very unique. So I'm actually kind of impressed with this bait. And that's something I really want to throw around this spring. Uh, I believe this one's going to be pretty dang buoyant too as well. Definitely something I'd want to throw on a Carolina rig. Or maybe even that deadly shaky head uh, with the creature slash craw bait. Hey guys, if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give it a like, comment, and subscribe. I can't wait to bring you some more baits. Who knows what I'm going to bust out next time. I try to think of stuff off the wall, and I'm going to try to post more videos this year. Now i got to get ready to do a little fishing and get a few other videos finished. Thank you guys so much for watching. Y'all guys have a good one. And don't forget, the link's in the description. Use my code at sixcentsfishing.com. Baitman, get 10% off your order. Or use it at Waterland Sunglasses for 15% off some new shades.